everybody, what's good? It's your boy Rob, aka Roboto, and I'm back here once again with another fantastic Madden 21 video. On today's video, we're gonna break down some of the new right stick controls that are coming to Madden 21. We're gonna take a look at the video that Clint Oldenburg and Kralo had on the stream, the special EA stream that came out, featuring some gameplay, detailing some of the stuff that's gonna come to the game. Um, and two things in particular involving the right stick are gonna be very important on the line of scrimmage primarily on the pass rush end, but the ball carriers are getting a revamped uh, stick control, both on the right stick, um, also within the main buttons and the color and the color triangle or diamond, I guess you could say they're on both Xbox and PlayStation. Um, you're gonna switch up the hurdle, switching up the truck stick. Um, also, you're gonna get special pass rush moves with the right stick as we've seen in the past. So. Um, it looks like there's gonna be some sort of new revamping coming to some controls. And we're gonna break down some of that. We're also gonna to listen to what Kralo and um, Clint had to say. But before we jump into that, I uh, wanna thank you all for coming by. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit a thumbs up and like the video, show you love, show some support. Leave a comment below too. Let me know how you feel about some of this stuff. I know some of it's not set in stone, so we have the ability to change some things. Um, but with all that said, maybe this is how we go forward in Madden. Um, and we're gonna see what it looks like with the beta coming out right around the corner. But if you uh, like what you see, thumbs up, 20 likes, and we're gonna start the Madden 21 year on mutt with some bundles uh just for the people who showed some love so um go ahead and get to liking uh, appreciate you for all your support but let's just jump right into it right now we're gonna lead off and check out some of the rushing abilities and hear what they have to say clint and kralo uh clint in particular about the new controls that are coming to madden 21 um and but i do want to talk about some of the stuff from a mechanics perspective so i'm going to go ahead and play a video this does have audio in it um it does have some music in it so i'm going to play this and then we'll go ahead and talk about the run game and kind of some of those mechanics So let's talk about the run game and uh, we're going to go ahead. I, I think I have some images. You guys may have seen these images already um, when we went ahead and released this on 616. Uh, you see Saquon Barkley. You probably heard the, the term journal uh, from the 623 deep dive article um, or, or, or blog, uh, not blog, sorry, video that was put out. But we also have some controls and I wanted to showcase this because I know anytime we go ahead and do something in game and we decide to go ahead and, and make some changes changes from a controller perspective that's always helpful for our players so Clint I don't know if you want to go ahead and talk a little bit about the run game mechanics uh, this year um, and kind of kind of the controller layout yeah ab absolutely I do uh, there's some really important things here and uh, I, I really want to start with why we created this ball carrier skill stick so obviously authentic visual quality we want our our movements to be more intuitive more natural most of all, more athletic. This is a tricky uh, why the skill stick? Uh, combo moves. We want to create a skill game in the in the running game so that really good players can get really good at using the skill stick and chain together moves. And all the evasive moves right now are on the right stick. And what's really important about that is you're, you're gonna see Juke on the right stick as you always have. Uh, a new move, dead leg, which we're all crazy about. We love dead leg. That's a steerable move down. I shouldn't call it steerable. What it is is if you flick down on the right stick, you're going to get a dead leg, which is a hard plant and change of direction. And then the way that you move the right stick out of that is going to determine which way you exit. That's a really nice move. And then you mentioned jurdle, and that's the important part here. The evasive moves that, are, that can all be chained together are on right stick, and that means hurdle is now on right stick. Hurdle has replaced truck as right stick up and then that's the same as dead leg the way that you kind of swivel the stick at the top will give you a jurdle which is a combo between juke and hurdle or a side hurdle which is what you're showing in those clips and then all the power moves are now on the face button so truck is on y Got it. what i want to say here and kralo you're going to kill me for this <laughs> um, when the beta goes live, when the beta goes live, I repeat, 
uh, we need the players' feedback. We need you guys to test this out and, and let us know how you feel about that controller switch because it's been in a long time. Truck has been right stick up a long time. Hurdle has been wire triangle a long time, and we changed that up on you. And I just want, want to let you guys know that that's not a final change. That can still go back to the way it was before if that's what the players tell us that they want. So we need your feedback. Uh, another important note I, I need to call out here, uh, some other minor, more minor controller mapping. Oh, just holding left trigger down is now the celebration locomotion. So you can, uh, I don't know what the word is, get loose, taunt, whatever, as you run into the end zone. Uh, last year it was a, a three button combination to do that. And we found it to be pretty hard for most people to do. So that's now a one button on the left trigger or, or L2 button. And that means that there's no more steerable moves. And what's important about that is the steerable moves, which are the ones where you could dictate the exit angle out of your special move animation, are gonna be dictated by ratings. So the higher the rating, the more steerable that guy's special moves are going to be. Christian McCaffrey, for example, has really fluid steerable jukes and spins, whereas a, a lower rated ball pair is, is a little bit less uh, steerable. So. All of these uh, changes together really are for the vision of chaining combo moves together, making amazing plays happen to evade the defense. And like I said, we want your feedback. And I think Agent K is probably going to get mad at me now. So those are some of the Russian controls coming to Madden 21. Let's take a flip over to the defensive end and see what they have for the pass rush side and see what's coming with the uh, with those rushers that are going to be coming and hunting after your quarterbacks. Let's go ahead and talk about pass rush. Uh, so I do have a video with audio as well. I'm going to go ahead and play that. You guys may have seen this already. I ain't telling which we ain't going to tip for tip. Trying to tell me how to get back. Going to get back. Like the end of the production. I just hope she don't feel better. Because what she do, I don't know what I'm going to do. All that I heard that y'all was talking to was pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do. All right. Let's go ahead and talk about pass rush mechanics. So, Clint, I got a lot here regarding pass rush mechanics. Now, there was another video. This one doesn't have audio. I'm going to go ahead and play it. Um, it it's on a loop, you know, and I think a lot of people, when they saw this in the deep dive uh, video that, that Grady kind of voiced over, you, you see rush moves, you know, you see all the you speed rush, but there's also some indicators that if you look closely, you'll see some markers on the offensive lineman that I kind of want to talk about uh, now because I think the pass rush is is it's kind of a full package. There's a lot more going on there than just kind of the moves that you're going to be able to do. So I'm going to go ahead and um, go over to some screenshots that I have right here on the controller. So uh, if you want to talk about the pass rush mechanics on the controller, and then we'll talk about the offensive side of the ball. I might have this screenshot up right now from the game controls. Yeah, there's a lot to talk about here. We're going to talk about both offense and defense. And as our players know who saw our trailers already, uh, pretty straightforward, the, the pass rush moves are back on the right stick. Uh, yes, they, they were there years ago. Um, we've reimagined that system uh, very similar to our skill stick on offense. Branching is a thing we want you to have full control of not only the move you want. So if you want to do a rip, you hit the rip direction. If you want to do a spin, you spin the stick. You're going to get that animation and that move that you want every time with this right stick. And you're also going to be able to branch from move to move at any time. Uh, what Agent K is talking about is the other half of the story, which is the strategy and depth that we've built in the pass rush. We're going to start on offense, then we'll go over to defense. What he's talking about underneath the offensive lineman, you're seeing some meters under there and they, they were really easy to miss in the trailer. That is a new, new feature called blocker resistance. And what these blockers are doing that's being displayed in those meters are remembering the history uh, versus that pass rusher throughout the course of that game. So as you continue to beat him to a side, he's going to start remembering that you beat him to that side and build up resistance to that side. And it's going to make it harder for you to win to that side with your pass rush moves. And you're going to have to start countering back the other way. Another way to counter this is to change up your linemen, your defensive linemen. So let's say I got Von Miller on the right. He's done a bunch of moves throughout the first half against the right tackle. The right tackle's built up some pretty good resistance and memory versus Von Miller. Switch Von Miller over to the left side, switch Chubb over to the right side. Now that right tackle has no memory of Chubb because he hasn't blocked him up to that point in the game, and it's a clean slate again. 
And what's really neat about this is if you switch them back and Vaughn goes back to the right, the right tackle remembers what Vaughn did up to that point. So that blocker memory is going to stay consistent over the course of a game. It does not carry over game over game. It's just for a single a game, resets every game, and uh, really makes you have to be a little bit more strategic about how you want to use those pass rush moves. Now, more strategy in that vein is on the defensive side of the ball. If you look in our on-field trainer up above the head, you're going to notice notches next to the pass rush move and the pass this rush feedback. Production. Those notches are the pass rusher's budget of moves on that play. So if a pass rusher has five notches in his on-field trainer, he can do a maximum of five moves on that play. And you only regenerate one move between plays. And in some cases you can regenerate more, albeit through abilities or halftime or two minute warning, you may regenerate two. But when you run out of moves, you can no longer perform any pass rush moves. So you can't just spam moves over and over and over until you get a win. So the goal here is to bring more strategy and agency to the pass rush experience. And may I even say, challenge some lurkers to occasionally make decisions about when they want to control a pass rusher. So I'm at a game. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. So now that we got both sides of the ball covered, uh, let me know what you guys think. I mean, me personally, I like what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball, especially on the offensive side when it comes to blocking these pass rushers, um, when it comes to these right tackles getting accustomed to and used to the left ends or the right ends or whoever's coming off the edge rushing that tackle, getting the block, especially as the game goes on. Obviously, as the game goes on and you're a good right tackle, you're gonna get more adjusted to what's coming off the edge there, and you're gonna be able to block, block your quarterback better. That shouldn't, you know, that shouldn't take away anything from what is coming as far as uh, what you're waiting for when, when you're attacking the pass rush. Um, on, on the offensive end, you shouldn't have to worry about putting abilities on a right tackle so they can block a right end properly. Um, it's just good to see that they're paying attention to that, especially sometimes last year when the pass rush abilities were very overpowered, no matter who you had as a right tackle or, or left tackle, even as a center or a guard. Um, if they had abilities on them and the pass rush was halfway decent, even if it was like a Warren Sapp without abilities, so he was probably shedding your line. So it looks like something interesting is coming there. Um, the ball carrier stuff, look, it's, it's going to be an improvement similar to what 2K does with the crossover moves. You know, it's there. It's Madden's version of a crossover. So we're not going to sit here and try to harp too much on anything and, and try to live in a space where we're going to um, rely on these ball carry moves to kind of change the game. But it looks exciting and I'm interested to see if it stays, if we can keep the hurdle or if we have to switch it up to something different. Appreciate y'all for stopping by. That's going to do it for today's video. That's going to do it for this video in particular. We got more stuff coming from Madden 21. Um, but if you come and check us out, um, subscribe to the channel. You can also check me out on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming some stuff in the future. I appreciate everybody for stopping by and supporting. We'll see you next time. And make sure you hit the thumbs up. Get that like goal. Peace.